right, so today I'm going to be comparing two panty liners um, to each other. These are both longs, um, but obviously one is thicker than the other, but I don't know. Um, yeah, um, sorry if you hear a show in the background. I have my TV on and I don't want to turn it off, so yeah. Um, we're just going to be doing an absorbency test. This is the UI Cotex. Um, hold up. Okay, so this is the UI Cotex um, long liner to go. This is the Carefree long liner to go. Um, they're both unscented. So yeah, we're just going to open them both. I'm going to show you what they look like and stuff and kind of just compare them and see which one's better. So this one is obviously thicker, but that does not mean it absorbs better or more. Um, the first thing I notice when I open it is that it comes in a pocket and not attached to the thing, which I don't really care about. I mean, it doesn't really matter, to be honest, but it's just a thing. Um, so yeah, I'm going to get a sheet of paper and tape these to this sheet of paper so they don't slide around everywhere. Um, a lot of people compare the adhesive on the back. This adhesive isn't really sticky. Um, it has like lines of it, so it's all around sticky pretty much. So we're just gonna glue this one here. And this one um, comes with a little bump, so you can fold the edges around to however your underwear kind of folds. Um, like see how this part's thinner than this part so you can like fold it around your underwear. That's really cool. Um, yeah, so we're just gonna go ahead and get started with the absorbency test. I just have some, it looks orange right now because my flash is on. But if I cover up my flash, which would be me covering this up, it's red. I, I know you can't tell, but it's red. And uh, hopefully you'll be able to tell better when I put it on here. But yeah, so I think we're going to be using a syringe today. I was going to use this, but I decided not to. Um, yeah, so we're going to start off with this one. And we're going to be using five milliliters, okay? So we're just going to fill it to exactly five milliliters or as close to five milliliters or like, yeah, as close to five milliliters we can get. So we're going to start off in the middle where it would kind of be anyways. So already the five milliliters is kind of like too much for it. Um, but we're gonna try on this one, the next one. Sorry if you guys can hear my dog crying. I honestly don't know why he is. Okay, so this one is like skinnier here. I've had a couple leaking problems with this one because of its skinniness around here. This one is dry. Um, so we're going to keep filling them until they become like they aren't dry anymore. So five for this one and five for this one. Now we're going to do five more milliliters for this one. Once again, starting off at the middle and kind of, yeah. So it almost immediately dries up. This one is still wet. Um, so this one isn't doing a very good job at absorbing. Um, so we're just going to do five more on each. So we got it right. All right, so I'm keeping a little track up here. Um, this is absorbing really well. It's pretty much completely dry. Hold on. Yeah, it's like completely dry now, and this one is still wet. Hello, everybody. I just realized this, which makes the other one even more 
better, even better than it already was. The one that was um, automatically absorbing things and like the other one that wasn't. I just, so I put two in this one. So I put one on this one, one on this one, okay? This is the one that's absorbing well and this one isn't. So I put one on the absorbing well and one on the not so absorbing well. And then one on the absorbing well. And then I went to put one on the not absorbing well, but I got distracted with writing at the top of what percentage of like things I got them, if that makes any sense. Like the percentage of milliliters they've taken in so far. And I accidentally skipped this one and went on to this one. Therefore, this one is even stronger than I thought it was going to be. Um, so in the end, whatever I say, like if I say, oh, this absorbed 20 milliliters, make it 25 because I accidentally did it an extra time. Okay. All right. So we're trying to like spread it out to the outer edges too. So I'm kind of just gonna spread around to the outer edges and the parts I haven't gotten yet. Yeah. And this is still holding up. This is doing good. This one is still wet. So technically it already failed, but we're going to do it again. Okay. We're gonna kind of go up here. We're gonna see what happens when I put them on these little things. This one is a good bit longer than this one, but this one's more absorbent. So this one's just a little bit shorter than this one, but yeah. And as you can tell, this looks like more of a light pink because it's being absorbed, and this looks more of a dark pink because it's not. Um, so we're just going to add five to this one and five to this one. We're going to cross out these five because these five are when it started to get like not absorbent because it kind of absorbed the first time, but those will still count as five. I'm just keeping track. Um, these, this one's still completely dry. Whoa. Um, the outer edges are completely dry as well. Oh my gosh, I'm really impressed by this Uvi Kotex brand so far. Oh my lord, this is so cool. I'm adding some, I'm adding a good bit to the outer edges again because they're completely dry. Um, and I'm still gonna put some on the, there. Um, so we're gonna fill it to five again and do this one. This one is not holding up. Um, it is definitely on the verge of giving up completely um definitely on the verge of just giving up on life so this one is all will be a lot more uncomfortable if you leave it in or like on for a while because it doesn't really absorb it's just there to make sure it doesn't get on your underwear so yeah we're going to do a plus five plus five um so this is beginning to not be dry any longer yeah so this one is now wet so I'm gonna add one more five milliliters and we're just gonna see what happens with that even though I know it's already past its border um, I just want to kind of see what happens especially with this um, Especially with this uh, longer one, I just want later. I definitely I'm going to be opening these and seeing what they're absorbed of. Yeah, this one has fully given up, so this one can take five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty milliliters, and this one can only technically take one. Uh, until it starts spewing out everywhere. So we're going to kind of open it and see. Wow. Yeah, that's completely leaked through. Um, like if I put it on my hand like this, it all just like, yeah, no, that's just not it. Um, 
so you guys already know about my opinions on that one. Now time for this one. Wow, the adhesive on this is really well that it's like taking the whole thing off. Okay. Whoa, this side is completely dry. So it still doesn't leak through. I'm going to like physically open the pad and see what it's made out of. If it's made out of um, those gel beads you see them advertise, if it's made out of cloth, what exactly it's made out of. And my camera's not focusing. All right. Wow. Okay. So I'm just cutting into the cloth now. Wow. Okay. This is really tough. Didn't think it'd be this tough to open it. Oof. Cool. Oh, wow. That is just a cool thing to look at. Whoa. Oh my gosh. Wait. This is really cool. Wait. Ew. Okay. <laughs> so I believe diapers are made out of the same thing. I know it's weird because like you always hear boys being like, ew, so basically you were wearing a diaper or like people, young girls are like, ew, so we have to wear a diaper basically. But this is what like diapers are made out of. So it's like, you know. Um, yeah, so this is made up of all gel beads, and I'm assuming this is made up of cloth just because it didn't absorb anything, and the gel beads absorb. I don't feel anything other than cloth. I'm honestly disappointed, extremely disappointed. I just... Uh, I just don't know what to do. Oh my gosh, there is just straight out cloth. There's nothing absorbent in there or anything. I am very disappointed. In my opinion, I thought they were both going to come out good and I thought this was gonna be a good review on both. I didn't actually think one would be better than the other, but it turned out I was terribly wrong. This is the aftermath of the leaking through the uh, because of the um, other pad that didn't work. Um, yeah, so now you guys know your limits to like the absorbency that these two pads take up. And now you know which one's better if you're debating. <laughs> um, so yeah, make sure to comment any questions you have down below. I love you guys so much. Peace, see you in the next video, bye.